Hey everybody, Cameron here. I'm in Voyagers National Park and it's early July 2015 and this is another video in a uh, series uh, of uh, videos called See It Before You Go where uh, I show you the campsite so you know what you're, uh, what you're picking when you're back there at home making the reservation. Uh, this is uh, campsite Granite Cliff North and I believe they classify this as a small campsite with two temp pads. All right, at this one, uh, the really the whole front of the campsite is the primary landing. Uh, there is no dock, uh, and it's kind of deep water, um, kind of a drop off all the way around here. So, um, really, probably the best place to pull your boat in would be uh, on the north side over there. But. Uh, yeah, but there isn't even anything to tie your boat to. <laughs> so I could see that as being a little bit of a challenge for people that want to... Uh, any kind of rough water here, you can see where I've got the, my boat pulled up here. Any bit of rough water is going to um, really start to bung up the bow or the hull and uh, kind of pull and tug at it because there's nothing that to really... Uh, uh, tie it to here, so you'd have to have very long ropes and then tie it to something up there. So, at any rate, uh, like I said, this is the primary landing here. <clears throat> and now we will go check out the campsite. This is your fire ring way down here. Uh, this campsite is very wide open, uh, a lot of rock, exposed rock here. It's very hot uh, today out here. So, if you're going to camp here, be aware of that. Um, campsites with a lot of exposed rock are very hot. Uh, even on cloudy days, they can be hot because these rocks, this granite, just uh, radiates heat <laughs> from any kind of sunlight. So, at any rate, this is the uh, firing. Nothing exciting. Um, it's kind of close to the water down here. <clears throat> And this is on Sandpoint, and it's uh, directly across from uh, Burnt Island. This one has two food lockers. It's a pretty nice new one there. Lots of blueberries here, by the way. Got all those blueberries ready for the picking. And they're all over at this campsite. So if you like blueberries, well, here you go. And there's another food locker. And you got one picnic table. And then here's your view. This is all Sandpoint Lake out here. And like I said, Burnt Island is right over there. See that little outcropping over there? That's Burnt Island. So it's directly west of uh, Burnt Island. So. And then Partridge Point is around that little point right there. So, but anyway, this is the view here. Another great uh, sunrise campsite. I'll go up and take a look at the tent pads here. <clears throat> no one's been here for a while. Grass growing on them. Pretty good sign. That's about a, uh, well, I'd say a 12 by 12 uh, tent pad. And back here, you have the other one really grown over. You can tell no one's pitched a tent there for a while. So, and that's it. And then over here, you've got the latrine. trail leading to it. Look at that beautiful white pine. That is a gorgeous white pine. That's an old one. That's almost three feet in diameter. Almost. At any rate, uh, continuing to the latrine here. And there we go. And talk about a throne, huh? You could rule all of Voyagers National Park right from that seat. <laughs> so that one's kind of built up. Big throne. <laughs> okay. 
We'll go back here. Everything other than the latrine is kind of exposed at this campsite, so be prepared to get some sun if you stay here. And once again, that was Granite Cliff North on Sandpoint Lake, Voyagers National Park. Not a new campsite, but uh, just uh, one of the many here. And I believe this is a small campsite with two tent pads, so I think that's what they classify that as. So, At any rate, thank you for uh, watching my video here. And uh, feel free to check out all the other videos on this channel. Uh, I've got a lot of a wide variety of videos here, a lot of stuff about Voyagers National Park and cycling and all that kind of stuff. So, but anyway, uh, thank you, thanks again for watching, and uh, please feel free to comment. I always answer my comments. So, all right, thank you.